In this tutorial, I will show you how to work with custom animator. It's the most uh, difficult uh, way to work uh, with uh, this project. First of all, I want to import some stuff in project. I after installing uh, 3D photo animator, you can find it here in generators 3D photo animator and drag and drop animator. I want to make it maybe about three seconds length. Okay. So next I need uh, to import some stuff, some picture. I will show you how to work with this picture. You need to import it here in upload image. Click apply. And that's all in import. Uh, now we want to create our own mask. Uh, it uh, will be custom mask uh, consisted uh, with um, many masks. I, you can make it maybe in other software like Photoshop or After Effects or maybe uh, Paintbrush or the Paint, I don't know. But I will show you how to work with it directly in Final Cut Pro X. First of all, you need to open uh, installed generators and type in search panel gradient this is uh, the basic preset included in all Final Cut Pro X uh, pro programs if you have uh, the Final Cut Pro X uh, you will have this preset so you need to drag and drop above our layer or I want to do like that I want to make gradient below my layer and I want to copy copy and paste or I do the next thing command B command B command B now I need to lift it from storyline and drag and uh, hold it uh, one above another. Let's count how I need. I need the mask for left building, I need mask for ground, I need mask for right building, I need the mask for back building and I need mask for main object is a car. So if I will write it's a five mask so I need one more. Okay. I'll make it with, with uh, same direction with the same duration and now I need to uh, turn it off for turn off and the first will be turned on okay I make our layer with animation a uh, health transparent I choose compositing in inspector and set it to 50% it's just for for small time. Here I open the gradient, open uh, the settings and I need to choose colors. I will work only with white tint of colors and will adjust on the brightness. So first I'm gonna do is to adjust how it will be in the left wall. I set this point 
and this point okay the first point will be near the brightest one but not so much and the farthest point will be around here I want to save these colors to use it later yes okay now I want to make mask for that I need to find instrument mask draw mask I write mask here and you need to drag and drop it to uh, this layer and I need to make some control points it will be like that maybe maybe higher because the photo is bigger than I see because it's not uh, ultra HD resolution okay it's okay that uh, we make mask above the car it's okay so next we will do the same for each wall So I need more uh, sensitive adjustment. I hold command key to use busier and drag mouse to make these angels uh, more curvative. and make more smooth lines uh, in the shape of our object I think I can make less adjustment uh, in the bottom part of car because when I uh, will make uh, camera animation it will be fast uh, covered by angel cutting I think only contrast zones will be important in this case okay make I made new compound layer and now I can use it as a mask in our animator I select published parameters and import image I can find it here in our stuff mask apply I want to check in editing mode that's all uh, that's all right yeah I think it's pretty good I turn off editing mode I turn off mask or I can delete it it's not matter because uh, uh, now the mask in the memory of program and it works now I need to turn back opacity And I want to make some animation with keyframes. So uh, I want to make zoom in with a little bit rotation in the axis of camera and of course with perspective changing. 
that I need to make keyframes of angle of view, of rotation, and of the position. Now I set cursor at the end of the layer. The three seconds and what changes I will make. I will change the position in the axis. I set it to 119. As you see the camera makes closer but now you uh, also could see uh, these errors. To make it better I want to move camera down. As you can see, I can check in real time how it will be shown because uh, our main object is, uh, must be in the best view. It's not so important uh, to uh, our background to make it uh, so, uh, so duplicated. Of course, I can make a little bit far camera position for example to 200 pixels maybe and make it a little bit higher minus 4 pixels maybe minus 3 pixels like that and I need to make some depth calibration to find the best result so the first settings maybe was the best. Ah, also I want to make a little bit of rotation, maybe in five degrees or minus minus five degrees, and a little bit of zooming. Oh. It's zoom out. I want to make zoom in. and more down in y-axis. So I need to render it to uh, look how it works now. So how it looks you can see now you have a 3D perspective animation of the car. You can see how it moving in 3D space. I hope uh, this tutorial helping you in your own project. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.